Creating a nice environment for your house sometimes requires the completion of the initial 3D model that you've just imported from your modeler. For this reason, Atlantis enables you to activate an infinite ground separately for each view. This can be done in the Perspectives Inspector or in the Inspector of other presentation modes. Once activated, the ground can be enhanced with shaders or objects from your catalog. The button next to the checkbox opens a dialog where you can level the infinite ground. This can be done either by entering numbers for the altitude or by graphically pointing at a certain height directly in the preview. Let's do it once more. Turn on the graphical leveling by clicking on its icon in the dialog, then point at a certain part of the geometry in the preview. The ground is lifted again. The Edit Shader button will open the shader settings in the Shader Inspector where you can fine-tune its parameters. Back to the Perspectives Inspector to set the backgrounds. Right below the Grounds button, the list for backgrounds highlights the one you selected for this view called Heliodon Sky. This is a physical background with clouds we can set in the Heliodon Inspector. The next option is called Gradient. Double-click on the thumbnail reserved for backgrounds to set the colors or their orientation. The next option in the list is a background composed of an image. Choose any image from your catalog or directly from your hard drive and drop it right behind the model. To edit the background image, open the dialog with a double-click into the thumbnail. Any image can be used as a background including those taken with your digital camera. To change the existing image, simply drop another one into the preview. The image can remain detached from the preview. You can snap it to corners or midpoints directly in the dialog, or you can move it in the preview with a simple left click. It can easily be resized, distorted, and repositioned again. Change the brightness if necessary with the help of the slider in the dialog. With this button you can stretch the preview and apply the image size to the final rendering as well. You can also use high dynamic range images for backgrounds. This scene lacks any light source for the moment, so let's drag and drop an HDR image into the background. The HDRIs generate a spherical, lit environment around your scene, providing a robust background and overall illumination. Adjust the light power and the background brightness. To generate hard shadows, you can also activate a Heliodon and use its direct lighting power only. The Skylight and Cloud Editor will be temporarily disabled by Atlantis. The position of the sun, as well as the direct light power and shadow casting, remain editable in the usual way. For foregrounds, we generally use images with transparency. They should be dragged and dropped directly into the thumbnail preserved for foregrounds in the inspector. Double-click on the thumbnail to open the dialog. Similar to the backgrounds, foregrounds can be snapped or moved freely on the surface of the preview. They can feature plants, environmental details, company logos, or anything you want. Resize them or change their brightness the same way as you do for backgrounds. The infinite ground as well as the background and foreground are easy to use yet powerful features to enhance your scenes.